Unexpected screamers deserve their own place in hell. And when I'm talking about unexpected screamers, the first that comes to my mind is the one at the beginning of Moira Asylum. Actually, this level is like a softer version of Outlast, but it's still pretty scary, because of the unsettling atmosphere in the game. Unlike Thief, when you play Dead Space you understand for the first seconds what you got yourself into. A bloody horror, but with an opportunity to shoot everything that makes you squeak like a bitch. And when you can shoot the head of anyone that tried to scare you, it brings you some comfort. Still, the game does have some moments that make your blood run cold. It won't be an exaggeration to call this game one of the worst in the series. There haven't been any optimizations done for a long time, and the main character is really just a huge idiot. But who would have thought that a game designed for teenagers will have a whole ass screamer? It's only one throughout the whole game, but bro, does it strike a nerve? <laughs> This game was truly the first action pack drive your crazy type of game in my life. There were screamers after screamers. It's hard to pinpoint the scariest moments of the game, as the gameplay makes you feel constantly anxious and frightened. You can't argue that this project, developed by the Polish studio Bloomberg team, is a gruesome horror with a psychedelic sprinkle. In layers of fear you just lose your mind at the same time with the main character. Any horror is three times creepier in VR glasses than on a PC. The synth part itself is pretty creepy, but with VR glasses you are playing with your dick hiding in your ass. <laughs> oh, what the fucking hell! Holy fucking shit! Welcome, my friend, and step right up to the ride of your life. This add-on was released specifically for VR glasses. The developers promised that it would fill some plot holes and mysteries, but in fact it's just a hybrid of a shooter and a horror. There are not a lot of screamers in the game, but since it's going on in virtual reality. Thank god there is no VR for Red Barrels game, otherwise not only would we have to replace ruined paints, but also look for a hard donor, because the project really makes you sweat like a batch, and I am sure that with VR some particularly sensitive gamers would have given their souls to God. The game with the insanely beautiful graphics for its time doesn't look like a horror at all. The project was mainly designed for children, and after 2-3 hours of Surian gameplay you come to enjoy the peace and quiet. However, at some point, the good times come to an end.
And again, here's a game about a group of guys who need to survive until dawn on Blackfoot Mountain. I must admit, the first hours of gameplay look more like some sort of teenage drama horror game that only scares children with small hints of screamers. If only I knew how wrong I was. Wait! Chris, 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 let go! What? Did you see it? No. That was pretty creepy. I hope this moment at least tingles your nerves or even made you pause the video to catch your breath from what you just saw. If you got high from the screamers, please guys give us your precious likes and write in the comments which game made a bigger impression on you at one time. See you later guys, bye bye.